So would I buy or sell a house right now in San Diego? Why does it matter what I say? Well, I'm in the business and I think it's important to know what people in the business are doing. What are, they're in the business every day. I'm in the business every day. So like if you were talking to a financial advisor or your doctor or something like that, what are they doing in certain situations? So as a real estate agent, I want to fill you guys in on what my plan was and I'll let you know why it was my plan at the end here, but the plan to buy and sell a home in 2024. So let's get into it right now. Howdy, howdy, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I'm Chris Erickson with the Beach Life Group, and this is where you come for all things San Diego real estate. So if you are watching this and your situation is similar, different, whatever it might be, you got some questions, buying, selling, relocating, we got your back. Feel free to reach out. All of our contact info is right below. And if you just want to stay up to date on what's happening right here in the San Diego real estate market, be sure to subscribe because we're dropping new videos here every single week. And before we get into what our plan was with our current home, moving into a new home, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory because that way you have a little bit of context as to where we currently are how we've gone through the years, why we were making certain decisions and potentially making the move in 2024. So our current home right here, we bought it back in 2013. And this is a time when I was renting down in Pacific Beach and I was like, talking about, we were talking about getting a house and we were talking about, you know, let's, it's time to buy. It was kind of right after the housing bubble. So we decided now was the go time. So we did purchase our home in 2013. It was a short sale. So the time frame from when we initially got into escrow till we actually closed on the house was a long time. So we're not seeing too many short sales these days, but back in those days that did happen a lot. In 2013, that was even before I was in the business, I got in in about 2016. So if we didn't have an awesome real estate agent who helped guide us through that entire process, we probably would have missed out on the home because initially there was just a lot of moving parts. We had to go to clear some stuff and liens and all kinds of stuff that just needed to be cleared up. So it took some time and we came up to a bunch of timelines and ran up to basically like days and hours before it could potentially shut the deal down. But luckily, like I said, our agent was dialed in, kept us up to date and helped guide us through that. Instantly, when we closed on our home, we had a significant amount of equity. But going through that, when we did make the decision to purchase the home, we did get some help from family. We took uh, some of our savings and put that into the house. When we did move into the house, we took some additional savings and kind of fixed it up a little bit. It wasn't dialed in, so we kind of had to upgrade a few things, especially over time, upgraded the kitchen, upgraded you know the bathroom, a few other things like that. But that's how we initially got into our home. Over time, we have had a few kids. So the office that I'm sitting in right now has been a nursery a few times. It's been a guest room a few times. Now it's in the studio where we're sitting right now. We have a shared wall back here. That's part of the reason we were looking to make the move in 2024, but it's in a good spot. And over time, we have seen significant equity growth as with most markets here in San Diego. And so some of the things I just mentioned are part of the reason that we were thinking about making the move in 2024. It's time to not necessarily get a little bit more home, but we need a little more outdoor space we didn't want to share walls anymore. We wanted our boys are getting a little bit bigger. So just a little bit more room to roam. So here is the plan that we did have for 2024. So the basic plan was to take our current home, fix it up and sell it coming into the beginning part of the year buy another home towards the end of the year. I'll get into a few more details why that was the plan. Towards the end of last summer, we started to put together a plan, which is super important if you're thinking about moving, going through and figuring out what needs to get done to sell your current home, where you're gonna go, what you're gonna do. Like initially we've had conversations and stuff, but we actually sat down and came up with a few options. It really gave some clarity and we were able to set a few timelines to figure out, okay, is this doable? What are the payments gonna look like? What is the new house gonna look like? What's this house gonna look like? How are we gonna sell it? When are we gonna sell it? all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of moving parts, especially if you do have to buy a new house and sell a current property. Now the plan to sell our current home was a little bit complex because we didn't want to sell this house and buy another house contingent, meaning we have to close on this house before we could close on that house. 
It has been done in the past. We've helped clients do it in the past, but we didn't want to really go that route. So our plan was to move out actually and start getting this house ready. So kind of flipping our own house. Like I said, we did, we've done a few things in the past. We've fixed it up a little bit, but we're talking about flooring, new paint. You could tell we have lived here a while. So just getting it refreshed was kind of the idea. Like I said, a mini kind of flip of our own property. Now, during the times that we were going to flip the property or fix up the property, get it prepared for the market, there's a few things we were gonna either rent a home for that six to eight month period, or as it was getting repaired, as it was getting fixed up, just do an Airbnb and kind of figure it out from there, get like a longer term Airbnb, like a 30 day plus, so then we could have some flexibility there. Now this isn't an option for everybody, obviously that option is gonna be a little bit more expensive. One of the cons of going this option is, yes, you're gonna to have to make two moves, you're gonna to have to move all your stuff out of your current home, maybe move it to storage or into the rental home for a little bit, and then from the rental home into your new home when you do purchase. So there is, that's that's one of the biggest cons when we are chatting with clients is, you know, here's the, there's, there's always a few different options. You can buy and sell at the same time by contingent. You can buy and make a few moves. It just really comes down to your specific situation. But that was our plan because one of the biggest things when selling your home is getting it prepared for the market. That's one thing we preach so much is getting it as dialed in as it can. And if you have kids, if you got a family, if you got anybody else living in your house, it's difficult to first off for showings, keep the house clean. Once you do get it prepared and ready, you don't want any scuff marks on the wall. It's just it, living in your house and selling in your house is a very difficult thing to do. A lot of people do it and it could have been one of our options, but we were deciding, I think we wanna go this other route, get it all dialed in, get some painters in here, get the flooring done, get it dialed in, get it staged, which is a huge thing. A lot of people, should I stage, should I not stage? I, as a real estate agent, was gonna stage my own house take that expense because we know on the back end that a lot of homes sell for a lot more. The more you can help the new buyers look into the property and picture themselves living in there, the more it's gonna sell for, the faster it's gonna sell for. So we were gonna stage our own house. And during all that, obviously we were gonna have our budget. So we were gonna put a certain amount in expecting to get a certain amount out. While you gotta do it at your own house, okay, is it worth it to, fix up this bathroom to totally rip it out, or should I just do kind of like a mini remodel, maybe some new floors, maybe some new coating on the tub or whatever to make it you know, nice and new and white, maybe some new fixtures, some smaller stuff, or are you gonna do that full remodel? And that's really a conversation to have and, and figure out, okay, if I do this, how much do you think I'll get more? How fast do you think I'll sell it? All those little things come into play and it really depends on your specific situation and your current home. In the timeline to sell our current property, we were thinking probably going into that spring market here in San Diego. Now typically why we're thinking spring is because that's when a lot of the home buyers are out there. A lot of people, that's when the typical home buying season, now obviously in San Diego, homes are being sold and bought throughout the entire year but that's the time right before summertime as kids are getting out to school and they want their kids in different schools for the new year. Now everybody's working on their own timeline. There's no real perfect time to put a home on the market, but that's when we were thinking, this is when the most people are gonna be out there. So as you're selling your home, make it look the best, price it properly, and also put it on the market when the most amount of buyers are gonna be out there to maximize the amount of potential profits. So while we were prepping our home, while we were getting ready to put it on the market, while we were actually putting it on the market through escrow, all that, we were gonna be renting that whole time. And there's really no perfect solution for this. Like I said, we were having the Airbnb for kind of that short term stuff, and then look for a potentially a longer term rental through the summertime. And there's really no, like I said, perfect solution. It's gonna be putting your net out there, figuring it out what's gonna work for you. Maybe you might have to get into a year lease. Then you're gonna to have to figure out what to do with your rental. And there's also another way to do it if you have the financial means is purchasing your new property. You could cut that whole rental thing out of it. Get your home prepped, 
get it in escrow, get it sold, and then you don't have to worry about those two moves in the middle. We weren't in that situation, so that wasn't gonna be an option. But if you can do it, that is another option where it takes that whole rental part in the middle. There is a little bit of a risk there. You're gonna have the new home that you bought, and then you're gonna have your previous home that you are selling. And one of the, the risks is if there's some sort of catastrophic market change or something happen, you're stuck with those two mortgages, you know, and the house didn't sell in the time frame that you thought it would, or not for the price that you thought it would. There is some potential risk in there, but we were not gonna go that route. And now why were we gonna wait for six months or however long that middle rental section was to purchase a new home? The reason being, a lot of times here in San Diego towards the latter part of the years. So after we get past summer, when you're going into October, November, December, there's less buyers in the market. There's less competition out there. So not necessarily deals to be had, but maybe not as many multiple offer situations. And it's really fluctuated over these past few years when we haven't had our typical markets where we have our typical ups and downs and you know we're peaking in the summer, kind of troughing in that midwinter months. But that was the plan. Towards the end of the year, when there's a little bit less buyer demand out there. So us as buyers had less competition out there. Now, one of the cons with that is during that time, there's also usually less homes available for sale. So it wasn't gonna be as, especially right now, if you've heard anything, if you've seen our other videos on inventory or the number of homes out there available, there's definitely not as many as there has been in the past. So the uh, pool of homes that we were gonna look at was gonna be a little bit less than before, but that's the plan. That is what we were gonna do. So why aren't we going that route? Why did things change and we get scared away by interest rates going up or something might happen in the market or now's not a good time to buy or to sell? It actually just came down to something real simple. So my wife's work, she's trying to cut down a little bit. So our income, our financial situation is gonna change a little bit. So we didn't really wanna take on a new mortgage that is going to be significantly more than what we're paying right now in that changing environment. So we are reassessing. As we always say on this channel, it really comes down to your situation and things change just like our situation did. We had this plan, we had it ready to go. If I wasn't in real estate, we would have hopefully been chatting with a great real estate agent to help us get this dialed in. And that's the thing, if you have a great real estate agent and you go through this whole plan and then you change, like big deal. It changed, no big deal. They're willing to help you and guide you through this whole process and make sure that you're taken care of because you gotta go through, you gotta do what's right for you. And like I said, some things change just like our situation did. So anyways, as you are going through this video and you're thinking about potentially making a move, buying or selling, and you just want some information, maybe you wanna start that conversation, like I said, feel free to reach out. All of our information is below. We could hop on a call, just get your questions answered, maybe help start you set up this plan for you so that when you are ready to make that move, you are dialed in and ready to go. Uh -huh.